In my last video, I showed you the concepts of volumetric blending. Today, I'm going to show you a practical example. Here in this diagram, you can see the results of a line blend between a clear glaze and a clear glaze plus cobalt oxide. Today, I'm going to do a similar line blend test, but instead of cobalt oxide, I'll use a mason stain. To prepare each sample in our tests, I'll be using a syringe. For this test, I'll be using 20 milliliter samples, but I'm using a 30 milliliter syringe so that I can mix the test more thoroughly inside the syringe. Here you can see I've already prepared two 50 gram batches of the left and the right glazes. Notice that their volumes are the same. They reach the same height on both cups. Here I've prepared my five test tiles, making sure I label each one with the glazy ID. The leftmost test is simply 100% of the left glaze. Here I take my test tile, dip it once, and then dip half of it once more so that I can see two different thicknesses of the same glaze. Here I clean off the bottom of the test tile with a sponge and then pour the glaze back into the cup. For the second test, we're going to do our first blend using the syringe. If you will recall, I need 15 milliliters of the left glaze and 5 milliliters of the right glaze. Once I have the mixture in the syringe, I can open the syringe and then shake the syringe to thoroughly mix them together. As before, I'll dip a test tile first once and then halfway in the second time so that I can see two different thicknesses. The third test is simply half of the left glaze and half of the right glaze. Since I'm using a 20 milliliter test, I need 10 milliliters of the first glaze and 10 milliliters of the right glaze. Again, I shake the mixture in the syringe so that it's thoroughly mixed and then dip the test tile. For the fourth test, I need only five milliliters of the left glaze and 15 milliliters of the right glaze. And for my final fifth test, I just need 100% of the right glaze. Here are my final five tests for my line blend. As you can see, there's a nice subtle gradient between the left and the right. Thank you.